For cheap and reliable coins, check out fifacoin.com. Use the discount code EMP for 5% off. Don't forget to use inform cards, special cards, to avoid being banned as well when purchasing your coins. And there are quite a few promotions going on on the site as well. Don't forget to check them out in the description below. Now, we have another, your favorite top fives, I think, uh, that I do on my channel, which is the Foot Champions Red Cards Monthly Rewards. And coming in at number five, we have Huge Gorilla. He has had some good luck in the past episodes with some of the legends he's pulled. Uh, unlucky this time, we got one of the worst, I'd have to say, along with Debor being one of the worst. But still, uh, overall, I'd have to say, unlucky there with his whole pack. The only thing I would actually like in there is probably Anthony Martial. And, uh, hmm, I don't know. I wouldn't mind giving Leno a go. Uh, Mkhitaryan looks actually quite good. Uh, but still, I bet he's very disappointed with that. Every time I look at these guys and their records, oh my god, it's unbelievable, unbelievable. I'm excited to see what they get at the end of the year, to be honest. But anyways, um, Quadrado, that's not too bad. I don't know how these guys actually uh, like players like that this year. I haven't seen too many people talk too much about him. But yeah, coming in at number four, we have Matt HD Gamer, and he gets himself. Now, I watched this, and I genuinely thought it was a Pele as well, and you could have seen by his reaction, but uh, you can't really complain with that, can you? He's a very, I was going to say doable legend, what the hell? <laughs> a very um, a usable legend. Uh, I don't know if uh, most people actually, in most teams, I don't really see uh, many people using Roberto Carlos, but I do see the players that come to mind in overall is Hulle and Kante. Whenever I think for champions, I think Ronaldo, Hulle, Kante. I always see them, but yeah. Antonio Martial, not too bad there. Um, Carrasco, uh, not too bad for Matt HD Gamer. It was very hard to rank these up um, because they weren't uh, like the greatest packs I've seen out of all the foot champions, but. Um, yeah, so long as they're happy, that's all that matters. Don't forget to check out everyone in the description. That is the most important part. Without them, top fives aren't even possible. And um, if you'd like to see a part two, let's try and smash over 200 likes. I've already got some really sick clips for part two. I'm just waiting on you. That rhyme, that's sick. Okay, um, towards the end of the pack, Hernandez, Cuadrado, hmm, not too bad there. Um, again, maybe if you do squad builders, someone like Matt HD can use them instead of paying to buy the informed version or whatever. Now we have JMX coming in. At number three, uh, he also uses um, his friend's account, Jambo, I think it is, and I should l I have linked him in the description as well. Um, so yeah, De Boer, worst legend possible. In fact, you know they were kind of three centre backs as well as Rijkaard and Carragher, but they've moved Rijkaard to a midfield role, which I think is a better better option. But what saved the, um, this spot into number three was he got Dybala, Chiellini, Chiellini Mertens, Socrates. Carrasco, so there were some really good saves towards the end. Oh, this might not even this might have ended up somewhere near the bottom. So um, that saved the entire pack at the end. There was some really good pulls and an Anthony Martial right there as well. Fantastic pull. Coming towards the end part is Quadrado Kovacic. Mm, still, overall saved him from that pack. I don't think he, that guy is ever going to use a Debor, but yeah. And number two, another lovely uh, pull here. Check this out. The legend um, is someone who I have packed. And um, I've I managed to sell him off for 600k, I think it was. I can't remember. Or was it 500k? But uh, Paul Scholes, not too bad on the pull there. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, the passing, physical, good sh I love his long shots, but I kind of felt that Paul Scholes' card was a bit of a letdown. Not in terms of his stats, really, but in terms of the like how I used him. Or maybe it was me, the way I used him. I don't know. But anyways, uh, Hazard and Isco. Mm, the Isco... Center mid, 88 rated, not too bad at all. 90 passing, 87 shooting. Carrasco, three decent players at the start. Uh, Jonas, uh, Gamiero, mm, not too bad, but can't complain with an Eden Hazard. Come on, Hazard, you cannot complain with that. 93 rated and a Pulse goals. Um, obviously, you can use players like that in a squad builder, a fun squad builder, or just a fun team on the side. Anthony Martial there as well. Um, a Fernando Torres. I actually have not used him yet, and I've actually... Haven't played FIFA in a while, but that Torres card looks absolutely delish. Uh, that sounds gay. I should, I should just forget that word. Uh, Marquinhos, uh, Quadrado, Jovetic, mm, not too bad towards the end of the pack, but still, definitely, I'd have to say worthy because the hazard saves him there and a decent legend pull. But yeah, some can be debatable with this, but check this out. Number one, I had to put in. It was a special one. Look at this. This guy packs himself an absolutely sublime player. The best one of the month, as you can tell from the title, Luis Suarez, 94 rated, absolutely astonishing. And it's not just that. It's not that he 
It's not like he opened a massive pack. I think this is the gold three reward. I don't do for champ. I don't even play FIFA much. Uh, at least I haven't played much recently at all. But I think this is considered the gold three one. Obviously, it wouldn't make sense if it's a silver th uh, one. But yeah, um, he gets it. Three cards in the pack. And he gets himself the best player possible in the month. This guy is absolutely lucky. Amazing pull. Congrats to this guy. Definitely worthy of number one spot. Unbelievable pull. Absolutely un unbelievable. When I saw that, I was just like, wow. But yeah, let me know if you would like to see a part two, of course. Subscribe to my channel if you're new as well. Subscribe to everyone in this video as well. Uh, hit that like button and uh, stay tuned for more different top fives. Of course, the last one was um, very interesting. You can check that out. I'm going to put the link in the description below. Have a wonderful day. Peace.